Okay, folks, let's talk about hanging a light. We're going to start with the, the more difficult one, ellipsoidal. Um, we've, first, we've uh, done a couple things. We've figured out where the light goes. We've referenced the light plot and talked to the master electrician, the designer, whoever's supervising, um, and figured out where it goes. We've decided that this is where it goes on the pipe. We've got our wrench. Um, we've made sure that our wrench is tethered to us somehow so that if we're working at height, we don't drop the wrench on somebody. Um, and then, uh, so you're gonna approach the pipe with your C-clamp open and put it on the pipe. You're gonna put your hand over it to hold it on the pipe, make sure that it's snug against the pipe. And then you're gonna run it up finger tight until it touches the pipe. You got there, it's loose, but it can't fall off the pipe. It's not going anywhere quite yet. So then we're gonna just figure out whether or not it's right side up or upside down. We do that by disengaging the cable, loosening the tilt, knob and checking to make sure that we've got the gel frame holder right side up on an ellipsoidal there's usually an accessory slot here on the top that you can uh, tell this the top and typically the cable would be hanging out at the bottom of the fixture so use whatever information you need to know to figure out if it's right side up we're focusing it over there so this is right side up um, so then we're gonna once we've done that figure out that it's right side up the reason that we do that before we put the safety cable on so we don't have to take the safety cable back off, turn the fixture around, and then uh, redo the safety cable. So now I've got the safety cable on there. Safety cable goes through the yoke and around the pipe. And then we grab our wrench, put it on the C-clamp bolt, and we give it a quarter or half a turn, just until it's snug. We do not um, tighten the crap out of it because it'll fracture the clamp. The other thing too is whenever we, these clamps can fail because people tighten them too tight. And so when you're, it's good practice when you're tightening that C-clamp bolt to put your hand on it and as you're tightening it, tightening it, if it starts to fail, you can feel it starting to give. Things are starting to move there. And so if you feel that starting to give, then you loosen it back up and take it down and figure out what's wrong with it, replace the clamp or whatever. We don't wanna have a bad clamp holding something over somebody's head. So now we've got the C-clamp tight against the pipe. Now we're going to rough focus it. We've figured out, we've referenced the light plot, and we know where it's supposed to be focused. So we roughly get it to tilt. And we're going to loosen the horizontal pan screw, which is this little bolt over here on the side you probably can't see too well. We'll get to that in a minute. So you loosen that up. You point it in the direction that you, roughly in the direction that it's supposed to be. And then you tighten that bolt back up again. Sometimes it's kind of hard to get your wrench in there. Not a lot of space. I want this cable in the way. And again, don't over tighten it. You're just trying to tighten it a quarter of a turn or so tight. If you twist them off, you basically ruin the C-clamp. So don't twist that out. There's a lot of colloquial, colorful names. Colloquial might not be the right one. A lot of colorful names for the for broken bolts there. Um, so now we've got it rough focused in the direction that we're going. We've got our C-clamp on. It's nice and snug. We've made sure that everything's tight so whenever we come back to focus it, we don't have to tighten all the things up. We know we only if we only need to move it this or that way, we adjust that bolt. If we need to do this, the tilt, we've got the tilt there. Um, we don't have to tighten it all up and waste good valuable time during focus. So the next thing is circuit it. We take our cord, we plug it in to a circuit that's handy by, um, and then we're done. Oh, nope, we're not done because we've got this cord, the rubber part of the cord touching the hot part of the light. This is rubber insulation. It will burn on the back of the light. This is fiberglass insulation with Teflon silicone. I'm not exactly sure what kind of coating that is. Notice we've got a strain relief problem there. Um, so if this part of the cord is touching the back of the light, it's not ideal, but it's not hazardous. If this part of the cord is touching the light, it's going to melt and burn and cause all kinds of problems. So what we do is pull that up there reach in our pocket, grab a piece of trusty tie line, go around the pipe and the, and the cables. I like to go around the pipe twice. I think it's good practice. It helps. I can pull it up nice and snug. It'll stay bound up there while I get the bow, the bow part of the knot tied. Just a regular old bow knot, like to tie your shoes. Do not give it the safety knot. We want, we want a nice easy bow knot that's easy to explode whenever we come back to strike the light. Okay, we're done there. We've, we're moving on to the next fixture. Okay, here's the next fixture. 
Oh, wait, no, we didn't do one thing. We forgot to pull the shutters out. And the lip soil has four shutters in it. Make sure you pull all the shutters out. If you don't pull the shutters out, it, you, when you turn, if they turn the light on, it doesn't, you can't see that it's on because all the shutters are pushed in. There's no light coming out of the fixture. And sometimes they'll get left on, they'll burn, it creates an awful lot of heat in there, it'll burn the shutters, different things like that. It's just a terrible idea. So make sure you pull all the shutters out, all four, all the way out, um, before you walk away from the fixture. The other thing you might do, depending on how the, the hang and focus are structured, you might put color in it at this point. Um, it's also good practice to flip that up out of the way, so whenever we come back to put the color in, it's ready to go in there. There's a reason why that was closed. We'll talk about that in just a little bit. So that one's hung and ready to be focused, ready for color and focus or fo color, focus and color or whatever. Those are the next steps. So now we're going to move on to the next light. This is a, a standard any other light. This is a, a standing in for, this is a source for PAR, but it could be a Fresnel or a PAR or any other fixture that doesn't have shutters. Same idea. We're going to hang it on here. I'm going to hang it backwards just to show you what hanging it backwards means. Um, typically you would hang it like this because you have easier access to the bolt to tighten it and different things like that. But we're gonna hang it backwards so that you can see the, the horizontal pan screw um, as, I'm doing, as I'm dealing. Notice that there's an extra cable running in the way here. Make sure that you don't put the C-clamp over that. Um, it's possible to pinch that. Make sure that you put the C-clamp under the, under the whatever cables might happen to be on the pipe. And sometimes there might be a lot of them, it might be kind of a pain in the butt, but make sure they're under it. The other thing too is make sure you don't put your C-clamp around all the cables. Make sure that you only put the, the safety cable around the steel, okay? So I've got that finger tight. I put my safety cable on there. Did I check it to see if it was right side up or not? I did not. Oh look, lucky me, it's right side up. We've got our, we've got our gel frame clip here cable coming out of the bottom of it. Okay. So now I'm going to tighten that. It's a little more awkward to tighten it on the other side of the pipe just because you can't reach it and see it. So again, nice and tight, nice and snug, focused up. Oh, we need to adjust a little bit. That's where the horizontal pan screw comes into play. Put my wrench on there, loosen that up a little bit, spin it around there to the correct direction, tighten that up. Sometimes it can be kind of hard to tighten it. But again, you don't want, it's a small bolt. It's easy with a wrench like this. It's, it's not too hard to twist it off. Okay, good and snug. The other way to, to adjust the pan on this, right to left, is to loosen the big bolt here. And sometimes you'll find them loose and stuff like that. They can be pretty hard to do, um, especially if you're trying to take the C-clamp off the yoke so you can put the fixture on a floor plate or something like that. The best is to get the C-clamp on a pipe connected to a pipe so that when you can use the, the yoke and your wrench as two levers to loosen that bolt. So once I've loosened it up, I can pan it around. This is a little more difficult to, to get accurately placed because as I'm trying to tighten it, watch what happens when I tighten it. Boop. Oh, I moved the fixture. So now I need to move it back. Sometimes you can just horse it around. But notice what happened when I did that. I'm gonna tighten it up, oh, I tighten it the wrong way. Notice what happened when I did this. this pin came loose, got loose. So then I have to go back and retighten the pan bolt, which can be kind of difficult. So as you're when you're fooling around with this, make sure that when you've tightened, if you've tightened this one, to check that one before you walk away so that the fixture is nice and tight and the person coming to focus it doesn't have to figure out, okay, what's loose? Oh geez, that's loose. Wait, no, not that, this one up here. And again, use up valuable time during focus. Okay, and then we're going to circuit this one. That is not okay. If it's loose like that, what will happen is it'll start, it won't make a good electrical connection and it'll start arcing in there and it'll um, melt the plugs and uh, burn the pins and do all kinds of things. Or the light just won't work, which is really frustrating. So if you run into something like that where it just, when you plug it in, it's just not tight at all. They make tools for this and we have some in our inventory. I use a pocket knife because I have one in my pocket. There's a split in the pin right there. I don't know how well you can see that. But I'm going to take my pocket knife and I'm going to slide it in there. And I'm just going to work it back and forth a little bit. There's some experience in this. Once you've done it a few hundred times, you've kind of figured out what the feel is. About how much pressure you can put on there without breaking it. 
If you get too aggressive, what it'll do is it'll break half of that pin off and then you gotta replace the connector. So I've probably gotten a little too aggressive in my splitting there. Where'd my connector go? Plug that back in there. Ooh, that's pretty hard to plug in there. You don't want it to be too hard to plug in there. If you can't get it plugged in, if you split the pin too far, stick one pin in a socket and wiggle it back and forth and it'll crush those halves back together a little bit. But you just want it to fit nice and snug like that. And then again, oh, problem, fire. So we're gonna grab our tie line and we're gonna tie our cable up to the pipe. Notice that I'm tying it on the upstream side of the, of the connector. And the reason for that is, once I've got it tied, I'm a little bit slow here, bear with me. Got my nice little bow knot there. Is that if I, if I have a burnout, I can come here, I can take the cap off, I can unplug this without having to untie the tie line. Okay, there you go. A couple of fixtures. We've got some some focus tail, so that if we when we if we need to move this around, we don't have to reconfigure all the all the circuiting and everything. And I've taken my I've remembered this information, and I've communicated that either with my hand or by telling someone to make sure that this information, the circuit information, gets on the plot, so we know what fixture this is and where it goes. Okay. Now, we've run the show, the show's over, it's time for strike. We're gonna do this in reverse. There's a few different steps, but not really. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come up to the flight, we're gonna put the clip down. And the reason that we put the clip down is because whenever you set this on the floor, if that clip is up like this, it only has three legs, and sometimes it'll wanna tip over. Not so much of a problem for a little short fixture like this, but a big problem for an ellipsoidal. So you put the clip down, you disconnect the circuit, let that hang. You loosen the, the tilt bolt and you point it straight at the floor. You take the cable, you wrap it around once and drop it through there. Nice and easy. Do not, do not do crazy stuff like run it through here and then around back through there and then up through here and, and tie it around so that make sure that we don't, so that it's not dangling down anywhere. That takes forever for us to deal with when we're trying to hang the light. So, around once, underneath the safety cable if you can, because that'll just get in your way, and drop it back through, okay? Nice and, nice and easy, no, no extra work there. And then we're gonna loosen it up from the pipe. Notice I'm going, I had to figure out which direction it was going. We've got it loose, not, it's still connected to the pipe, it's not gonna go anywhere, it can't fall off. And now I'm going to take a moment and I'm going to figure out where this fixture is going to go. Am I going to carry it down the ladder? Am I going to hand it to somebody? Am I going to set it on the floor? Where's it? Think about what the next step is so that you don't wind up with a wrench in one hand and a light in the other hand and you're trying to hang on the ladder and, and you know, you're backwards in an awkward place or something. Figure out what the next step is before you take it off the pipe. So then we disconnect the safety cable. Make sure we put it back on the fixture. The safety cable always goes with the fixture. So it's always available whenever the light gets hung. And then put our hand back on there so it doesn't fall off before we're ready for it. Loosen the bolt up quite a bit. Oh, make sure you loosen it enough so you're not up there trying to horse around with it. And you'll get its experience once you figure out you've done it, you, how, how far to loosen it. It's how, you, you learn that as you go along. So then we take it off and we go put it wherever it's gonna be. The next one is the ellipsoidal, same process. Disconnect the, the power cable, slight variation, push all the shutters in. Make sure all the shutters are pushed in so that whenever um, you get it down, these aren't sticking out, getting caught on other fixtures and things. Close the gel clip. Not all fixtures have this style of gel clip on them. Some don't have any on them, but if it does have a gel clip like this, make sure that it's down. And then we're gonna again, we're gonna point it straight at the floor. We're gonna loop our cable gently around, hang it through once. Then we're gonna loosen up our bolt, C-clamp bolt. Okay, we're ready to go. Okay, where's it gonna go? Got that, ready to go. Pull the safety cable out, put it back around the yoke. Put our hand on the C-clamp, loosen the, the C-clamp up generously, slip it off the pipe, and go put it where it goes.
I hope all that made sense. Good luck out there.